Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today, I'm going to be sharpening the blade on this lawnmower I bought. I just did a little DIY video that was a failure, but uh, it worked. So, uh, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just going to sell it. I bought it this morning. Make it a little bit better and then get rid of it. So, I'm going to pop this blade off, sharpen it up a little bit, and uh, make it work a little bit better for the next person. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, please. Uh, oh yeah, comment below and talk shit, I guess. Just kidding, don't do that. I hate it. Alright. Set you up. Isn't my truck beautiful too? I love my truck. So, I'm going to take off the blade right here. If you have an electric one, make sure you're unplugged. This is a gas one. Uh, make sure oil and fuel does not leak out while you're doing this. Alright. Mine. Oh yeah, make sure when you take this off, mark which way the blade was going, the cutting blade. So you can install this the wrong way. You don't want to do that, right? So make sure you mark this. Um, what I usually do is just mark and mark. That's all you need. You don't need anything special. So the surface that we're going to be sharpening is right here from the tip to about right here. I'm going to use my grinder. Uh, you could also use, um, what else could you use? The file. That's what I'm thinking of. But I'm going to grind away at this thing. When you're grinding, you want to make sure you keep it at almost the same angle that it is right now. You just want to cut down a little bit. I usually do one pass, well, a couple passes on the bottom just to keep it sharp. It wouldn't hurt to put WD-40 on this uh, when you're done on the blades, that is. I don't know why, but Jeff, this guy working, loves the WD-40 and he's got me hooked on it lately. So, also, uh, when you are cutting, or like me, using this grinder, angle grinder it is, I believe it's called. The way that it spins, you want the going down side of the cutting wheel to go on the down side of the blade. So you want it right here. This one's gonna spin a clockwise motion. I'm gonna hold it down on like three o'clock-ish on, uh, on the surface. So here we go, it's gonna get loud. Hopefully I can turn it down a little bit, but here we go. See, and then how do you know when to stop or when enough is enough? When you realize that all of the new parts that you've grinded or uh, filed down, it's all nice and shiny. So you know you've hit that whole thing. Uh, hopefully you did it at the right angle. And like I said, I usually just like to uh, go a few passes on here. In case you've like hit rocks or something and you have nicks, uh, that just makes it a dull surface. So a little bit sharper, a little bit better, right?
so this thing is not sharp at all it's got a little bit more what I'm looking at is you have a ton of dull surfaces see right here see right here is like a knife edge really dull got almost this whole blade a really nice knife edge now so pretty much this side is done they probably make a tool to do this but then I'm just doing it with stuff around the house so um, or I still have my garage I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side and then screw it back on and we shall be good to go <laughs> oh yeah like subscribe and share thanks for watching